What's up guys, I'm Neandre Blaze, and welcome back to more Pokemon Zeta, part number 35. We explored the rest of this, um... We took down the gym, we took our second gym battle, of course we took down Jonathan, and also we took down the PK... Whatever that thing was. <laughs> also, we had a little bit of an error, I didn't save the game last time, so... Toby doesn't understand that from the, pa from the past couple couple episodes ago. This time we're exploring, we're heading down, we're now down south, we're heading to the cave. Did a lot of, also did a lot of, did a lot of exploring actually, off camera. And I, fi I, fi I figured, okay, never mind. We also have a couple battles here, well, so, of course, make some solid today. Solrock! New encounter actually for our side, so we have some new Pokemon videos. So also taught Yoshi Sore, yes, I also, I also didn't, I actually did get my Pokemon up to, a Pokemon real, real quick, so. Also, I nickname it, I, I, I fixed Guy's nickname, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fixed Guy's name, of course, and we did a lot of stuff on the other side. So I fixed Guy's name. I just made you Yoshi Source, so we got a lot of nicknames, of course, and it was a, it's just an interesting experience. So we just started with Grass Knot. As a, we just taught him grass, on which it was the higher the move is, the better it is. The better damage will take. It depends on what it says. It's kind of heavyweight. Ooh, nearly had a level up, though. That was very close. Now, I do want to go here, and I want to show you this guy's this place, too. There's Soul Rock. Probably just more grindy, I guess, for our team. Grass not again. Should knock it out. Good combo. Good move, and that's it for uh, Soul Rock. And get all 31. Awesome. Double Edge. Ooh, interesting. So he's level 31. We'll get rid of Takedown. We have, now we have a better move, too. 120 power. It'll probably hit with recoil damage, just only half. Half of the damage it takes. So, we we'll have, we'll have a better move now, too, which is, all, which is awesome. Now we have a, a brand new move, double edge. Let's get um let's see if we can oh, Yoshi to evolve actually. The Venusaur would be nice for our member of our team. Let's see, remember try to remember correctly. Just wanna look around a little bit more, actually. You know what? This is a bit of, Oh Double Scraggy! Level t a brother brother and brother, okay. Alright, Mina. Mina and Yoshi Sore, why not? Try our new, uh, we have a grass now, which is pretty nice. So we'll use Razor on both of them, actually. And so you can use a uh, Sand Attack. We'll, like, we'll like, use Catcher for now. Why not? Let's use Sand Attack, lower its accuracy. Scraggy, our newest encounter, actually, for this one. And two Razor Loops will just hit some decent damage. Headbutt. Hmm. Scraggy, not bad. And Break Break. That would be nice if you want to go for the Rock Battle, Rock uh, Gym Battles with just Jonathan. So you have to train up a little bit better, so not bad. Um just teamwork. We'll use one of these uh two. Give her the other one. So we'll probably catch the other one. Quick attack hope to knock out pretty decent down. I will use guts anyway, but that's alright. Good teamwork. Use my experience for them. Break break. Good, that one misses. That one was the stronger one, I guess. I guess I can catch it for now if it decides to the Pokedex. Why not? I'll use Twister. Sleep Powder. Good strategy. And fast asleep. Catches a Pokeball. Yes, I do also got some items too that wanted that much went underground. I'll plus put that later on. Did a little bit off camera training for this one. Alright, here we go. One. Two, three, yep, there it is. That's all. Not bad for uh for a first setup. It's Scraggy Shedding Pokemon. It uh, immediately headbutts anyone that it makes eye contact with. It. Its skull is massively thick. <laughs> reminds me of a little special. Reminds me of somebody. So I'm just gonna let it chill out for us. Not gonna catch up for our team. I'll let's put it hang out for the time being. So I guess I can do it this way. I don't remember. I'll probably show you guys a picture. I think I should did share a picture, of course, on the other side, so. Let's make it out of this place for <laughs> the meantime. 
Uh, there's a guy. Okay, there we go. This guy over here. This is probably one of the funniest things ever in this game. The best thing ever in this game. This is where I got all my items too, actually. All my treasures. So you can oh, try to find a heart skill, actually. Sure. So this is what you're supposed to, do, supposed to do in the game. You can do this. Go on the ground. And this will tell you. You can actually dig in these in these kind of these kind of walls. Yes, we have finally encountered the underground pet the underground um, mini game. This is basically like a kind of like a little and for this is basically from Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. It is awesome to see so classic game. Well, we found all, I found all items too actually. I might just more often. I found swipe out my own This is amazing stuff you can get. Yeah, I believe I, I think I got a heart skill once before. Like, you can get so you get a super potion in the game, which is actually it's not that bad though. This is actually based on the, the, the game's Diamond and Pearl Platinum, where you just do the underground levels, just like this. It's it is really fun. It is really interesting to see. I found a lot of good stuff in this route, but I'll probably just spend more time a lot in this in this in this sort of this uh this play too, because this is nice to start off and get some more items too if you want. Like stones, for example, you can get stones, like fire excuse me, fire stones. Um you know, fire, water stones, you got a whole bunch of stuff in this cave. Okay, I found a lot of shards too. Most common one. If I also like this one ever so I found this one too. I found one. Yeah, I found one Everstone. So you have to keep, you have to keep coming here and find, try to find the uh, heart skill. It's some, something that just heart skills, heart skills are also could also um. Right here also you could use the mallet. This help. This will take more time. And I look at it. I found a. I found a over. Oh no no. No. There we go. We found the oval stone that will help the um, Pokemon evolve. Fast, a little bit faster. It only works on, uh, works on Papini revolved to Chansey, or I guess for Blissey, too. And also, look at this, we found a Light Clay. These hold, so this would be good for, I guess for, I guess this is good, I don't know, I just, I, I had this too, actually, but, I don't, know, I don't even know what it does, I forgot what it does, too, anyway. I found two, so I did pretty well on this one off camera, but it was really nice to see this. Got light clay that will that will increase. That will increase. Light clay. That, oh yeah, will host. It will it will basically hold reflect and slide screen. Okay, never mind. I was I was trying to write, but never mind. Okay, let's, let's see if you find that heart scale. You, you, you get some couple items too if you want to, want to, but... And look at this, we found it. another item. Yes, the odd keystone. This will help you revive a, uh... Some of it, spirit tomb. I'm not sure how to, how to get through yet, but I'll... I'll figure something out in the new future. You also get a revive, sweet. So instead of just buying revives or trying to pick one up, you found a revive right here. You can get max revives this one too, as a matter of fact. And we found. Oh, we're gonna do this real quick. Ah, uh, now I'm probably gonna get this one. Yeah, we, that was a root fossil actually. We got a root. We got a, a, one revive actually too. That's mostly pretty rare to find. I found max revives a couple of times, but I got one of them right now. So I guess we'll come back a little later. I'll probably do some more digging. Uh, I'll probably take some pictures of in the meantime for some extra commentary. And I'll be back in a moment. There we go. Got the heart scale. Pretty, it's very really tricky to get too. So it took me a, little, it took a couple attempts to get it, but I got the heart scale for you, buddy. This guy will give you a super potion. Do this every do this every time I guess for the time being if you can find a heart scale. 
Yeah, so... Yeah, this is actually a good place to actually go... I'll play do one more for just for, 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 for fun. It's a fun mini game, of course. I like this how they, they put this in the game. This will bring back Generation 4. That was a good surface right there. So, two confirmed. Let's keep digging. And why well, another oval... Oh, another Everstar. I also found the Damp Rock, which I... The Damp Rock actually will increase the duration... The, uh, ex that will extend the duration of Drain Dance, which I found the fourth and final one. And a Blue Shard. This would be good if we get, like, moves, too. There it is. Got the Blue Shard. So this is probably the last time we're gonna probably see this. I'll probably get more items too if I want to sell some items as a matter of fact. And I found four rare bones. Alright, so we escape this route. Yep, yeah, we're now on route 310. So we can finally explore this for the rest of the place in the next part, I guess, for the time being. But that's gonna be it for now. Nothing too much to say about Zeta. Well, I wanted to do about well, three episodes, I guess, for the time being, but yeah. Maybe I'll do two two per week. You never know. How my how my strength and my as always, folks, on the other side of the you're watching for part number 35, so you go to part 36. That's a little long road, I know. I'm doing a lot of underground digging, I did a lot of research, of course. Alright, on with the Route 310.